When most people use the word estrogen, they are thinking of a specific molecule, estradiol, which is produced in a complex series of metabolic reactions from cholesterol. Estradiol binds estrogen receptors, both alpha and beta, and these then are transported to the nucleus where they can activate the transcription of genes. Estradiol is not the only steroid produced in these metabolic reactions, and some of the other steroids can also bind these estrogen receptors and then turn on gene transcription and thus act as estrogens. So estrogen is a group of hormones which include androstenediol, which is both a weak estrogen and a weak androgen. Although it does not bind the estrogen receptors as efficiently as estradiol does, the levels of androstenediol in blood plasma exceed that of estradiol. So it is significant, especially in women as they undergo menopause and the levels of estradiol decrease. The brain is one of the organs where the enzymes to make androstenediol are produced. And so androstenediol is not only a neurosteroid, a steroid hormone uh, acting in the brain, but also thus a neuroestrogen. It is produced by microglial cells in the brain where it promotes reduced levels of inflammation and thus is valuable in reducing the severity of Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis.